we're back in the corner. It's a serious video. Oh, my head right now. I have three reasons why I shouldn't be making this video. One, the lighting is really bad. So thank you for enduring the bad lighting during this video. It's greatly appreciated. Number two, and I know I'm really smiley and bubbly right now, but I am genuinely, oh, I am so angry right now. And three, I haven't scripted a video. This is a rant, but it's gonna be a fun rant. We're trying this beer. Framboise Old Bercel. It's a lambic. It's corked. It should be delicious. Watch, this will be the beer that explodes. Please don't explode. Yay! Ooh, this smells delicious. It's hard to stay mad when there's beer, so at least there's that. Taste old. If you're wondering why a beer is involved with the rand, it actually serves a purpose because my rant is about beer and women within the beer industry. His old debt. This is good. It has a nice sour taste to it, but there's also, there's almost like a salty undernote in there with the raspberries. I approve. So if you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I'm sure that the algorithm introduced us because it wants us to be friends. Back before I even started this channel, when I moved to Belgium, I was very intrigued by beer because there's this whole community around it that was very similar to the community that I think exists with wine in France. And when I first went to France, I really wasn't into wine. And it was through tasting it via my host family and going to other people's houses and just having that community and interaction and that conversation around wine that really sparked my interest. And I wanted to try that in Belgium. And I didn't have exceedingly high expectations. I thought, oh, maybe I'll just try a beer here and there and see what happens. But Prince Charming suggested that that should be something that I showcase on YouTube. I was really intimidated by the prospect of that. I knew nothing about beer. I had never tried beer. I just, nothing. <laughs> was up here in my head. But I thought, well, everybody starts at zero. Nobody goes into beer being an expert. Even if you go into beer to study it, you start at zero because that's life. Everybody starts at zero. And I thought it would be really interesting to show my journey and to just have that, not just for myself, but maybe somebody would come around it and just be inspired and think, oh, well maybe I'll give beer a try because it's gone well for Catherine. But ultimately, what inspired me to get over the fear of not knowing what the heck I was talking about and doing beer reviews on YouTube was the fact that I found just beer review after beer review after beer review from men. Some of them, frankly, were sexist. I mean, take an enjoyable lambic like this, which is an original Belgian style. A lambic to be a lambic, it has to have been brewed in the Zena Valley because it's the wild yeast in that valley that makes lambic. And lambics can be sweet, but the distinctive note from lambics is the fact that they're sour. There's no way to describe it. I, I do not have the words or the vocab set to articulate what that tastes like. It's something that you have to experience. The people reviewing the lambic said that it was a woman's beer. Actually, this is a dessert beer. It goes really well with any type of dessert what you want. I've made floats with Lambic beers. They're delicious. I mean, if you're somebody that doesn't like sweet things or sour things and you just don't like Lambics for that reason, that's fine. But, you know, saying BS crap like, oh, this is a beer only women would like is stupid. <sighs> I actually made a video about this. And what sparked this interest again was the fact that I'm in this beer group on Facebook. <laughs> and I actually think the last video that I made on this subject was inspired by some of the people in that group. I don't know, maybe I, I've just been unlucky and I, 
I'm someone that I, I like to believe that no matter what somebody says, there's good intent behind it because, you know, it's online. Not everybody speaks English as their first language. It's really hard to read tone. I do make that effort to envision that, okay, yes, I'm taking this negatively, but is there a way that it could be taken positively? I try. But, you know, at the same time when somebody is telling you that you shouldn't be doing reviews because you aren't a beer sommelier or because you've never studied beer, but they're not saying this to like the male members of the group, it's hard to come up with a reason why that isn't sexist and how that can possibly be taken in a positive light. A quick little side note, because I know when somebody who says that they enjoy sweeter things, they normally are going to get recommended the Lambics because yeah, Lambics do tend to be sweeter, but this is actually sour and not so much sweet. But I feel like the barley beers are so underrated when it comes to their sweetness, because I swear there have been some barley beers that I, they are so much sweeter than any sweet lambic that I have. So if you like sweet things, try and you know experiment with the the barley beers because there's something with the roasting process it just brings out sugar. It's almost like plum wine sometimes when I'm drinking a barley beer. I mean it's it's great. It does have a heavier taste and there are some bitter notes, but it's to me it's like dark velvet chocolate cake except it doesn't taste like chocolate, but it does sort of give me that dessert feel, even though it's not a dessert beer like the Lambics. That was delicious, just round of applause, holy crap. It's been such a long time since I've had Lambics and what's funny is now that I've had the darker beers, which I swear are so freaking sweet, that I'm having a difficult time with picking up some of the sweeter notes on the Lambics because I'm getting more of the sour notes, which I swear I never got any sour notes when I was first tasting Lambics. I feel like I'm gonna have to try some of the Lambics again just to see if they taste as sweet as I remember them or if that sour note comes out. Anywho, that's what I have for you guys today and I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. The algorithm doesn't care as long as you interact with my video. Be sure to check out the description for all the links to my social media. I'm on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and I keep a blog where I keep the conversation going, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Toot scenes, my apple zines. Okay, so the thing that I really don't understand are the men within the beer community who have no expertise or educational background in beer, but who are saying that women need to have that, which is cool because personally, that's a goal of mine. So when that happens, I will be an expert and those people still won't be. So good job encouraging women to take over an industry that you don't want them to be a part of. <laughs> that seems very counterproductive.